Hi, this is George Mills, developer of V1 Driver. I'm about to show you a cool new feature I'm calling Instant Replay. Um, it's kind of made up of a few parts. One is you have to turn it on, and it's on by default. And basically, I have an Instant Replay window of two minutes set. It's right there in the middle of the screen. Um, to kind of give you a synopsis of what you've recorded or not recorded, um, I have now a histogram of your signal strength going across the top of the screen. So I had to rearrange a few things to get it to fit in there. Um, so that blue line going across the top is just showing you that I've got no signal, everything's good. Um, so I'm going to drive around the block, I've got the usual two radar guns hanging out my window, and um, You'll see the, uh, the signal uh, on that histogram uh, change as I come around the block. I'm on the opposite side of the block, so it'll take me a minute to get there. So this feature is always running if you want it to, if you want to use it. Um, so it's always going to be running a two-minute window, and usually there's nothing in it, so it's really not using a lot of resources. Um, set that window to whatever you want. You don't want to set it too large and you don't want to set it too too small. I set it on the small side so that people that don't want it don't complain about it. But I wanted it on by default so people just know it's there. So a lot of people don't read the forums and don't even know what features are there. Should be getting the signal pretty soon. Um, so it's recording everything from the V1 and everything from the GPS. Um, and that's not a lot of data. Um, it takes a little bit more data to store it to disk. Okay, there it is now. You can see, I'm getting, a, I'm stopping right now. Um, you can see that the signal right now just jumped up on the histogram, and it's gray because I'm um, under savvy mute, and the bogey map is showing the, the, the same signal. Um, so now, um, as I get closer uh, to my house, uh, we'll eventually pick up the KA, and uh, the, the histogram will change color. Uh, so there it is. So now I just picked up some KA. Uh, so it's just like everything else, what's the most critical threat is what's being shown the best. So on the histogram, it's red showing you the KA. On the status bar, it's showing you the ramp rate and the KA signal uh, frequency that you're going. The, 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 the intensity bar is based on the KA and the red uh, frequency on the bogey map is the KA. It's all the highest priority. Uh, if I were to bump my savvy down, then everything, then I'd get two, two reds. Uh, and either one of those would have been red on the, on the histogram. So now I'm gonna continue driving. And I'm right in front of the house and the bogey map is showing them both right in the line, right around the line. Now I'm slightly past the house. And now they're showing slightly behind the line. Uh, the KA is pointing right at me uh, right now, so that's why it's close to the dot. And it's a lot stronger signal. And now it's fading away. And now you can see the histogram showing all that activity. And if I want to, I can now, let's wait till I get to the end of the block, um, I can just hold the mute button in, which is the middle of the screen. And I just saved that whole thing. And now, if I want, I can, now, right now, what you see on the histogram right now is in memory. And um, so if I were to kill the app right now and bring it back up, it's I'm starting all clean and fresh. See, I, I got a blue line there again. But I did hit the save button. So now if I want to, I can bring up this, the recorder controls by doing a drag up on the mute button and it will expose the recorder controls at the bottom. Now I can just hit the load button down the lower right and it loads in that histogram. And so now I want to play that back. All I do is hit the play button. And now it's telling me to, in order to do the play, it shut the Bluetooth off because it can't be having signals coming in from the real Valentine in the the playback at the same time because it's coming in. As far as the software knows, this is coming from the V1 and the GPS. It's very, very low level. Um, so now 
see this little cursor going across showing you where you are in your recording and it's just playing back the whole thing and now if I switch over to the map what's really cool is it also recorded that whole thing on on the map and I played with the alpha on the color so the stronger red is the stronger signal or the stronger gray so because we had two we had two levels we had a, a muted K which is in the bottom part of the screen and that wasn't a threat so it was drawn in gray but it also had a ramp up and then we hit the KA and then it switched over to the KA and then we ramped up on the K on the KA and then he ramped back down. So you can practically tell just by looking at the map where that KA was. Um, and if you notice, there's a little cogwheel. Should be moving. What's going on? Should be moving. Should kind of moving. A little problem with the playback. Oh, there it goes. I don't know why it stopped moving. That little cogwheel shows you where in the recording you're playing back to. Uh, I don't know why it's stalled there. I'll have to look into that. Um, if I go back here, you can see we're right at the peak. If I go right here, we're right at the darkest red on the map. Um, and what's really cool is I can tap on this histogram and I can back it up. So I just tapped early in the recording. I tapped in the, uh, the gray area. I'm tapping it again. I backed it up further, and now if I go back to the map, I should probably shut off the uh, heads up, it keeps rotating the map. So now I'm back in the gray area on the, on the map, uh, or if I want to jump to the right to the peak, uh, the red peak, now I just click there, and now I get both bogeys, and the KA is really strong, and now if I go back to the recording, I'm in the, in the KA region. Um, so you can only have one recording right now, I'll eventually set it up so you can do multiple recordings, but you can have one recording saved to disk and if you back it up to the cloud it'll get backed up if you restore from the cloud it'll get restored uh, and you can load the one recording so you can have one recording in memory and one recording uh, on disk and that's it right now uh, but most of the time you only want you need a few you know a couple days later you're not going to care really um, so I'll set it up so you can rotate through a few recordings or something um, date them or something uh, you don't want to have too many because it will use up some space um, so that's it for that uh, new feature